Hi everyone, I'm back with another video and today I'm um, excited to show you a Valentine project that I've done um, and this is using a Doodlebug uh, holiday tree in white and uh, I've just decorated with the, decorated it with a bunch of different favors and um, I'll show the favors in more detail but I just wanted to show you a, a view of what it looks like all done up. I have some uh, the like packaging in the bottom, the crinkled, um, crimped paper in the bottom of the the base of the tree, and then I tied some tool to the uh, base of the tree, some pink tool, and um, I've just done a bunch of different favors, and then I'm just gonna um, swing this around so you can kind of see how it looks. I've used some uh, takeout containers that I've got at uh, Michael's and um, I've made some little cracker holders and decorated some glassine bags and did like a sour cream holder and a muslin bag and um, yeah so this is what it looks like all the way around. And so I'm just going to uh, take all the favors off the tree and I'll show you how, it, how they look up close up. Okay, so before I start showing the favors, I'm just going to show you some of the supplies that I used. Um, a lot of this stuff was stuff I hadn't used yet or um, had only used a little bit of, so I was really excited about that. So I used quite a few of these papers, and these are from the Love Me uh, paper stack um, from my mind's eye. And then I also used um, some of this paper stack here. This is the Be Mine stack from Echo Park. Uh, some of the embellishments I used were some of these Martha Stewart little envelopes. I used one of those. I used uh, one or two of these. These are from um, American Crafts, they're little details. I used one of these uh, Jetador from Making Memories, the little bottles. I used a couple of these. These are really old. These are from Making Memories. They're little kind of epoxy hearts. I used a couple of pieces of, from this ephemera pack from uh, Kane Company. I used a few of these letters and these are from Making Memories and they are from Love Story. These are really super old so I was happy that I got to use those. Uh, I used quite a few from this here, this is from the Love Struck collection from Making Memories. This is really old too, so I was glad to be able to use some of that. I used one of these, and this also I've had in my stash for a while. These are from EK Success. I used a stamp from the stamp set that I just purchased. Um, this is from Recollections. I got this at Michael's. I used a few embossing folders. Uh, this one here, the chicken wire one, which I hadn't used yet. This one, hugs and kisses, which I hadn't used before. And then this one, which I think I've used one other time. This is from Sizzix. I also used some of these uh, celebrated uh, mini takeout boxes from Michaels. I used a uh, uh, clothespin from this recollections. Pack and this is I think from last year. This was from a Kane Company um, ephemera pack. I'm not sure what the name of it was, but I used a few die cuts from that. I used some of these um, little felt hearts from the Dollar Tree, and I used this. Uh, sticker from uh, old Heidi Grace um, chipboard sticker pack. And then I also used a few of these tickets from the um, ticket pack from Making Memories. 
So I'm just going to move these out of the way and then I'll show you the favors. So uh, the a lot of the favor ideas I got uh, online, so I will uh, put the links down below to where I got my inspiration from. And uh, I filled them with um, some of these Hershey Kisses, a little patch, and some individual Hershey Kisses, and then uh, some of these um, conversation hearts. So the first one I'll show you um, is a matchbox, and I used uh, my envelope uh, punch board from We Are Memory Keepers. I just purchased that before Christmas, so that was awesome to be able to use that. And um, this, I've got this little die cut on here, and I added some tool, and um, I just put a little pack of the uh, uh, Hershey Kisses inside. So that's the first one. And this was super easy to make. The tutorial I followed was really easy, so um, I'll make sure I put the link down below for that. Uh, I also made a sour cream holder, and I'll put the uh, inspiration for that down below as well. And then I just added a die cut with a little epoxy heart. And um, the clothespin, I just added some washi to. And um, yeah, these are really easy to make as well and you use your crimper to close it. So that was nice to, to bust out that tool. Um, this glassine bag, I just embossed it and added a tag. I cut half a doily, added the heart and a little a die cut and tied it on with some twine and added some bling along the bottom and um, just covered. Well, this is the, the painted uh, clothespin. And then to these ones, um, three of them I added these uh, pop pop rock candies with a lollipop. Uh, this next glassing bag I'm going to put a gift certificate in um, and that one they can open up on the 14th. Um, and so I just layered uh, some pattern paper, cut them into banners, added a ticket, a couple of tickets, and then layered these um, various hearts from um, different companies on there and just added another um, clothespin with some, this has kind of decorative tape on it that I bought last year at Superstore. And then the back is embossed with that uh, embossing folder, the, the bag. Uh, this uh, bag, I just used my top note uh, stamping up uh, die and cut that out and then I added the letters uh, spelling out love you, added this little ticket that was in my stash, a little puppy heart and then a die cut from one of those packages I showed you. And then inside is more pop rocks and then a, a clothespin with washi. Uh, this bag I used the chicken wire uh, the chicken wire embossing plate. I cut a, out a banner with the pattern paper, added this trim that I've had in my stash for a while. So that was nice to use that. And this flower as well. Added some sprays and this vintage uh, ephemera piece from that K and Company pack. And then added another clothespin with some decorate, decorative tape on it. And that has pop rocks in it as well. Uh, this is a uh, muslin bag that I had in my stash. I punched, or sorry, I stamped this out with my stays on uh, saddle brown ink. And the trick to doing that, um, Becky helped me with this. Uh, I just put a stamping block in between in the bag um, before I stamped, just so I had something, um, a hard surface to stamp against. And I had no problem getting a, a clear, clean um, image on that. And then I added one of these Martha Stewart uh, envelopes with the little note card inside, and then added that. American craft um, felt embellishment to it. And then another clothespin with uh, some decorative tape on it. And, and here I put a big package of Tic Tacs in there, the red and white ones. Uh, I made a couple of uh, little uh, crackers uh, favors for uh, this using my envelope punch board and the tutorial I'll put down below that I used for inspiration was really easy to follow. I just tied them with some seam binding, um, added two little hearts, one acetate and one epoxy one, 
and this little um, sticker embellishment, and I put some little Hershey Kisses in that. This one, same thing, I used twine to tie it up, um, an acetate and paper, hearts stacked together, and then this little chipboard embellishment that says, I adore you. Uh, I'll put the link down below for uh, these uh, little favors that I made. I added a little bag of those Hershey Kisses to the inside. You could also use a, like a little cellophane bag and add your own Hershey's and then just punch two holes in the back and attach the bag that way. Um, that's how they did it in the um, tutorial that I saw, but because I had those little bags of candy already, I just did that. So I just adhered the bag to the um, favor. Um, I just adhered this shot with some tape. And I have a little button with some twine and then just a sticker from that. Uh, be Mine collection and the paper is as well from Echo Park and then I just punched out a heart from that collection and um, added it with some dimensionals. And then this one using the same paper line I used a button with some twine and it added a little baby clothespin. I think those are from Making Memories. Added one of those cork bottles with a little um, note in it and then a flower from my stash and some lace from my stash and some more of those little um, kisses and then these are the uh, takeout boxes that I did and so I just put a bunch of different candies in there added this ticket from the um, Making Memories collection a little uh, pink doily that I got from Spare Parts I believe that was from Hobby Lobby and one of those Dollar Tree felt hearts uh, this one um, this was from my stash. It's from UK Success. It was a bunch of um, Valentine tickets that were stickers. So I added one of those, added this trim on the bottom, this kind of tool-like trim, and then another one of the hearts. And then um, this one. Added another one of those tickets, a doily in the background, and then the layered felt hearts from Dollar Tree. So that is uh, my project. I was really um, excited to be able to use a bunch of product that I hadn't used in a while or hadn't used at all yet. And I thought it turned out really cute. And um, I plan to do hopefully one for Easter and definitely uh, one for uh, Christmas. And um, I bought the tree at HomeSense between Christmas and New Year's. It was on sale for half price. Um, it was regular $13, I believe, and um, I was super happy that I found that. So thanks everyone for watching. I'll put the links down below to all the um, different videos and blogs that inspired me, and I hope I inspired you to do some uh, favors for Valentine's. So thanks for watching, and bye for now.